the factory is tasked to design an open cylindrical container with a surface area of 243 pi cm square. The radius of the cylinder is rcm, and the height hcm. In part 1, show that the volume vcm cube of the cylinder is half pi times 243 r minus the weight r cube. In part 2, find, in terms of pi, the maximum volume of the cylinder. Pause to give this question a try, and when you are ready, keep watching. Let's begin by forming an equation for the surface area. The base area of the open cylinder will be a pi r square, and we add a 2 pi r h for the curved surface area. We will now form an equation by equating it to 243 pi from the question. Dividing by pi throughout, we are able to simplify the equation into r square plus 2 r h equal to 243. Notice that the final equation in the question does not have a h, we will now make h the subject of the formula so that we can swap it out later. Volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. Swapping out the h from the previous step, we should get this equation. By simplifying the r, we have managed to prove that v is equal to half pi multiplied by 243 r minus the weight r cubed. To find the maximum volume, we need to apply the second derivative test. And the first step to the second derivative test is by equating the first derivative to a zero because the gradient of any stationary point is a zero. We will now set the first derivative of the v equation, a dv over dr, to be equal to zero. To get the first derivative, we will need the differentiation of power functions. Where we differentiate x to the power of n with respect to x, we will give the result of nx to the power of n minus 1. Bring down power, power minus 1. Differentiating 243r will give a result of 243. And differentiating negative r cubed will give a result of negative 3r squared. Bring down power, power minus 1. We will now equate the first derivative to a 0. Solving for r from this step will give a result of 9. By replacing r to be a 9 into the v equation, we will get a volume of 729 pi cm cubed. To find whether this volume is a maximum or a minimum, we will need to continue with the second derivative test, where we differentiate a second time and prove that it is a negative. Differentiating a second time to the v equation will give a result of half pi multiplied by negative 6r, where negative 6r is a result of differentiating negative 3r squared. R is a radius and radius must be positive, so our second derivative of V equation must be a negative. With that, we conclude the maximum volume is a 729 pi cm3. And that's the answer for this question. Did you manage to get it right? Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something and see you in the next episode of Practical Math.